What is up everyone, Nick here. Welcome to the show if you're new. Thanks for coming back if you're not. In today's episode, we're gonna be taking a look at a really exciting company, newly listed growth stock, having just gone public a couple of months ago. Now, in my investment thesis, I am continually looking for under the radar stocks and companies that I don't see many others talking about, essentially getting in before the curve. Analysts believe there is massive upside in this one. As our world and our economy continually move back to a new normal, consumer goods and the resultant stocks are poised to surge and many investors are rapidly moving into the space to diversify and shore up their portfolios for the coming recovery and anticipated economic boom. This one is going to be a fun one. Let's dive right in. Make sure whenever allocating capital on the stock market that you do your own due diligence and gain as much information and research into the company as possible. Penny stocks do indeed typically come with more reward. However, this usually is paired with increased risk. Disclaimer, this is a sponsored video. Make sure to always come to your own conclusions, formulate your own decisions. This is your duty as a smart and calculated investor. All right, ladies and gents, let's dive right in. All right, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm first going to go over who the company is, what it is exactly they do, and where they see the industry moving in the coming quarters. Next, we're gonna be taking a look at their analytics revenue and massive growth as of late and then finally we're going to be going over the company's charting and balance sheet okay so the rapidly growing company of today's episode is called kits eye care limited trading on the toronto stock exchange under ticker symbol kits and on the otc or over the counter under ticker symbol ktycf on major brokerages they are a relatively new, vertically integrated digital eye care platform company. They were founded in 2018 and are based in beautiful Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. Now, we'll talk about their immense rapid growth, their increasing revenue, and their average price target of around 100% from their current stock price shortly. But first, let's give a bit of context. Who are they and what sets them apart from competitors? So what Kits is doing is harnessing the wave of the consumer moving into the online e-commerce space and transforming the way users shop for eyewear. So they are an online platform offering both beautiful and affordable eyeglasses and contact lenses. But what makes them different, in my opinion, is they are integrating and creating a one-stop shop environment to ease consumers' eye care needs. They have an incredibly robust selection and design and manufacture both their own exclusive products as well as sourcing other brands. Kits is essentially attempting to remove any intermediaries to boost their bottom line and ultimately their growth. They have created their own state-of-art digital platform, which is amalgamated with really neat tools offering consumers a superior experience than other competitors in my opinion. They have online eyewear fitting tools, virtual try-on for their eyeglasses, and what I think is a fantastic concept, their online vision test. After taking the test, users utilize Kit's pupillary distance and virtual fitting tools to ultimately begin shopping for their customized glasses and contact lenses. This allows users to come to their platform, stay on their platform, and then transact a sale on their platform, avoiding any third parties and really boosting potential growth. They've actually seen magnificent conversion rates of 43.5% ending in orders. Now, the over $35 billion eye care industry has long been dominated by a multitude of small independent vendors. It's actually one of the last instances of this kind of market with independent small shop optical retailers actually accounting for the majority of eyewear sales. Kits views this existing industry as ripe for transformative disruption and is attempting on penetrating this market before its soon anticipated shift. We see the online eyewear purchasing space rapidly growing, moving from just 3.5% of sales in 2009 to 9.4% 9 in 2019 and an estimated 12.6% in 2020. I do expect this to continue rapidly growing as more consumers are catalyzed into the e-commerce sphere from the change we have recently seen. In Q3 of last year, Kits witnessed a massive jump in net auto ship subscribers as consumers moved online, and I think Kits really was at the right place at the right time. 
Likewise, they saw a boom in their pairs of glasses sold in the same period. Really magnificent numbers here, more than a 100% quarter over quarter increase. This really is incredible growth, and I do believe this will continue in our market. As the recovery period begins to unveil itself, many anticipate there is likely going to be a surge in consumer spending dominated by online shopping, and Kits has perfectly positioned themselves for this coming shift. They have seen massive revenue growth moving from 2019 into 2020. In 2019, they generated $36.9 million, which is incredible when considering they only began their operations in 2018. What's more is the kind of revenue jump we saw moving into 2020. They generated a whopping $75.22 million in 2020 alone. Their cost of acquiring customers is really low at just $40, leading to an exceptional $600 five-year repeat customer at an incredible 69% repeat business rate. This is a really important metric and something I gravitate towards whenever looking at a consumer good company. Basically, are our customers happy enough with the product to continue buying additional products? And we see that they are in this case. As I previously mentioned, and something I find quite important, is that they are vertically integrated, having their Giga factory and their own optical lab. They have a current capacity of 2,000 eyeglass pairs per day, and are currently scaling this to a whopping 10,000 per day in anticipation of massive growth. They have a fully automated North American fulfillment network with a capacity of 3,500 contact orders per day. They are capable of next day delivery all across North America, operating one of the fastest and most efficient optical fulfillment centers. Now, taking a look at their financials, we really are seeing rapid growth here. Their revenue in Q3 of last year was phenomenal at more than 80% growth year over year to around 20 million. This in comparison to just 12 million in the same quarter a year prior. Their gross profit also increased 76% year over year to just under 6 million. They have generated positive EBITDA at just north of 1 million in Q3 last year. Now, moving into Q4 of last year, they did lose substantially more. However, they have been offering a vast quantity of promotions, offering almost free glasses, really increasing their brand equity. They lost $6.22 in the last quarter. However, I do expect this to relate to increased revenue in future quarters. It's important to note that the company only very recently launched their glasses to their operations, just in 2020. Glasses currently make up a small fraction of their run rate total revenue. However, they are planning on shifting to this higher margin eyeglass sphere to increase their proportion to total revenues in the coming quarters. This they anticipate will lead to higher gross margins, around 35 to 40% up from their current 27%. As always, whenever looking at a company, I like to take a deep dive into their management team. Who is driving the ship and how experienced are they? Their CEO is Roger Hardy. He has previously been a CEO and co-founder of another online eyewear retailer and manufacturer. This was Coastal.com beginning in 2000. This company became the leading North American online eyewear retailer in just a few years time. They were eventually acquired by Essilor in 2014. He has a ton of experience within the consumer goods sector. He has previously proven himself and his entrepreneurial abilities. I really do like him at the helm of this operation. Joseph Thompson is the company's chief operating officer. He has 22 years experience at massive companies like Procter & Gamble and Amazon. This is really important as it signifies he has experience in the e-commerce sphere and understands the ins and outs of the industry and what it entails. Sabrina Liak is the company's CFO. She has 19 years experience in the finance space. She has previous experience at the powerhouse Goldman Sachs where she managed private growth investments. Rob Long is Kit's CMO. He comes from Dyson, Canada, where he built and led their direct-to-consumer business. He has previous experience at Clearly Contacts Limited, where he was a key member of the marketing leadership team. The list goes on here. A really experienced and previously proven management team. I really am liking what I'm seeing. Really robust. All right, so the company is currently sitting at $8 and a quarter. They have around 31 million common shares, generating a market capitalization of $259.754 million dollars making them small cap. They have a tight 52-week range as they are so newly listed, with a low of $7.55 and a high of $10.20. They have a massive price target far above their current price, with an average of 15 and a high of 17. 
they are currently sitting at a 1.5 in between a strong buy and a buy. I really do think this company is moving into a fascinating industry and I do think there is a massive opportunity here to really scoop up additional market share in the coming quarters as our world moves online. I will be keeping a very close eye on kits in the coming quarters. I really do think this market is currently underserved and the consumer goods sector is poised to surge in the coming quarters. Make sure to always come to your own conclusions whenever allocating capital on the stock market. I am not a financial advisor. Make sure to do your own due diligence, do your own homework, and formulate your own opinions. Let me know your favorite companies in the comments below. Who are you watching right now? I'm always looking to do more research and find new companies. Anyways, everyone, I'll see you all in the next video. Take care. Happy trading. Cheers.